Hello, the given question is from test series 3, subject control system, chapter root locus techniques. The given question is, consider an equation, this is the equation, for this equation which of the following statements are correct. First is root locus intersecting the imaginary axis at plus or minus j 1.2247. Second statement is angle of asymptote for the root locus is plus or minus pi by 2, breakaway point for of root locus R minus 0.24655 and minus 0.7672 and fourth statement is centroid for the root locus is at minus 2 so options are 2 and 4 statements are correct option B is first and third statement are correct option C is 1 and second statements are correct option D is third and fourth statements are correct so let us take the given statement, given equation that is, this is the given equation <coughs> which can be written in this form s of s plus 1 by s of s plus 2 by s plus 3 and we need to find out the breakaway point for this transfer function which can be obtained by dk by ds is equals to 0 and we have here that is k value as <coughs> after further simplifying this equation we will obtain the k value which is dk by ts this is k which is obtained from this equation so after differentiating this equation this transfer function and obtaining the uh, roots for this quadratic equation we will obtain s as minus 2.4657 that is third statement so third statement is true now we have got breakpoint as s is equal to minus 2.4657 and And in order to find the k value, s value that is, we have to take this uh, characteristic equation and using the Roth's Horvitz criteria, we will have to find out the value of k for this given state of transfer uh, characteristic equation which can be simplified as s cube plus 5s and s taking as common 6 of k plus k is equal to 0 this is which can be compared with the roots uh, roots or uh, harvest criteria a naught is 1 a2 is 6 plus k and a1 is 5 and a2 is k in order to find b1 we have to multiply this and this and we will obtain 30 plus 5k minus k by 5. So if you take this term and simplify, we will obtain k value as minus 5 by 2. So using the auxiliary equation that is 5, 5 s square plus k is equal to 0 value of s can be obtained as plus or minus 1 point plus or minus 1.5 so from this we can see that there is no uh, the value is not cutting the ima uh, the value which we, this value which we have obtained which is not cutting the imaginary axis because because s is not coming with the term j so, angle of asymptote So, the angle of asymptote can be obtained by A theta is equal to 2Q plus 1 by P minus Z 2Q plus 1 into 180 degree by P minus Z Q is nothing but the 
value 0 1 and here from the characteristic equation we will obtain pole as 3 and 0 as 1 pole as 3 and 0 as 1 so p minus z will be 2 so q will be two values that is 0 and 1 so substituting this obtained q values in this equation will obtain angle of asymptote as 90 degree that is nothing but pi by 2 and for q is 1 will obtain asymptote as minus pi by 2 so that is second statement angle of asymptote for the root locus we obtain it as plus or minus pi by 2 so second statement is correct so which will match with the option so in our next third step fourth statement is centroid locus is at minus 2 so to check if the statement is current we will use the formula that is centroid is equal to real uh, sigma of real parts of the poles minus sigma of real part sum of the real parts of the zeros so that is minus 2 which is which we have obtained after simplification so this four statement is true so according to our this thing we have obtained breakpoint is minus which can whatever we have obtained which can be plotted in this way so breakaway point we have obtained it is minus 2.465 but in the given options it is written as breakaway point of the root locus is minus 2.465 and also minus 0.762 which is false because we have only one breakaway point that is minus 2.46 so the third statement is false and from the and from this auxiliary equation we found out that the it is uh, we have not obtained and break it is not cutting the imaginary axis that's why the first statement root uh, the root locus is not intersecting at the axis j1 plus or minus j 1.2247 that is we have obtained s as plus or minus root 1.5 so first statement and third statement are false so only option is only correct statement is 2 and 4 so the option is a so from this we, uh, question we learned that how to find out the breakaway point and how to find out the value of root locus intersecting at the imaginary axis and also how to find out the angle of asymptote and centroid and how to plot the plot it in the So the answer is answer is A. Thank you.